Hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And I want to start today by saying to all of you out there who will receive this, Merry Christmas to you. I hope you're enjoying this Christmas season. Not holiday season, but the Christmas season. You know, Jesus is the reason for the season for the believers. You know, I often say that believers do not celebrate the seasons Believers celebrate the birth of Christ. Christmas. I said this last uh, Sunday, I think it was, and I want to say it to you. Have you noticed the extent that many marketers, car salesmen, clothiers, you name it, have gone to the, these uh, these uh, uh, marketing uh, uh, people, people that you hire to do the marketing, marketing firms, that's the word I'm searching for. They've gone to a tremendous uh, degree, a tremendous extent to formulate their commercials where uh, you don't see the word Christmas. Now you may hear Christmas music, you may actually hear the word Christmas mentioned in some of them, but it's holiday they holiday this, holiday that, holiday the other. You know, if you were a Martian and you came to America this time of the year and you watched television and you weren't and you were not familiar with any of our traditions, you'd wonder exactly what are we celebrating during the, the month of December uh, in the last few weeks of December because we hear holiday, holiday, holiday. We see holiday written everywhere. We see seasons, greetings written everywhere. But what season, what holiday, what are we celebrating? Now you'll know it's Halloween and you'll know it's the 4th of July and you'll know these other things, but you. But it's almost now uh, a, a, a to the unknown God. We're going back to the days of uh, Athens, where uh, where Paul said, "I, you're too too religious. You're too superstitious." I saw on your uh, altar an inscription that says, "To the unknown God." Well, we Christians know who we are celebrating this time of the year. We're celebrating the birth of our Savior. Now, listen. I want to invite you to come tonight. I am so excited about the word of the Lord tonight. I, 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 I got a problem. I don't think that I'll have enough time to finish this. I'm, I'm doing a teaching. I, I'm going to throw it out there again. I, I did it last week and I, I want to tell you what the name of the message is. Life without God. Life without the God of the Bible. Listen, the world wants to train us to think without God. Think without the scripture. Think without the doctrine. The world wants to give us uh, a view of the world through secular, non-religious, non-scriptural lenses. But let me tell you something, my friends. When you take God out of life, you take the meaning of life out of life. You take the spice of life out of life. You, re, you, you relieve, you take away, you release the joy of, of, of being and existing. And so tonight, I'm going to talk about it. And you want to be here live. You want to be in the sanctuary on time, I want to make full use of my time. I want, to, I want to squeeze as much of this into this presentation uh, as I can uh, because, you know, the way the Lord's been dealing with me of late, you know, right when I talk about how the Lord gives me one message at a time, unless I'm in a series of teachings, <laughs> don't tell me God doesn't have a sense of humor, then he, he'll turn around and give me three at a time. <laughs> You know, I know sitting here talking to you what the Lord, uh, what I'm supposed to preach Sunday unless the Lord changes it. So uh, you got to come and get this. 
because there's something else coming Sunday. And so it's just, I tell you, I thank God. I thank God that the God of the Bible speaks to me and, uh, and we're able to preach uh, his word. And he's, he's constantly saying, saying things and giving us what to share with you. So I'm excited. I'm all over the place today uh, because there are so many things going on. But I want you to enjoy this uh, Christmas time of the year. We're getting ready for our New Year's Eve service, our end of the year revival. Prophetess Janet Floyd is going to be uh, here. Uh, uh, Prophetess Barbara Calloway is going to be here. Evangelist Andrea Moles is going to be here. The Upper Room Church of God in Christ Choir Praise Team and our ministerial staff and workers are going to be here. The saints are going to be here. I'm laying hands on everyone in attendance. And the big reveal, the theme for 2020, the Lord has already given it to me. It's on the tip of my tongue. I want to talk about it, but I got to wait. I got to hold it until the time. And uh, I tell you, we have so much to thank God for and so much to look forward to. Now, until tonight, may God's choice blessings be yours. Thanks for watching.